Derek, uh, let's get your view on the stock market uh, strength that we saw last week and uh, as, it, as we see continuing to filter into this week. Uh, we're seeing the market trending higher. At the same time, we had some disappointing economic numbers coming through because, of course, we were getting used to those double-digit digit growth figures. But now it seems that uh, that growth tapered off in quarter one uh, below 8% or around that mark. Uh, so what, where, why the disconnect between the stock market and the real economic data? Uh, with, with the stock market, we realized that a lot of the investors were abused on the stock market despite the economic information that came in that showed a little bit um, a little bit of a slow growth in GDP. Um, that's because the stock market has a lot of stocks that are fundamentally undervalued because of a lot of profit taking that um, ensued during the first two quarters of the year. So um, it made a lot of stocks relatively attractive. These are um, very good stocks, um, blue chip stocks that have become very attractive. So um, investors paid very little attention to the economic figures that came out. Um, that notwithstanding, the slow contraction in GDP and the slow growth in GDP um, can be attributed to um, the, the very high economic activity that took place last quarter during the Christmas festivities. So the normal trend to see a slow growth in the first quarter. So it had very little impact on. And, and of course, Derek, in today's world, 8.7% growth uh, is a phenomenal if you're comparing it to, to where other economies are growing at. Uh, but of course, as you say, off a low base. Uh, let's just quickly check in on some of the stocks that we're tracking right now, because Ghana Commercial Bank, that stock uh, up 2% today to, to SETI. Uh, what, are your, what are your views on the first half performance that we're likely to see from the bank? Because last year they had to take all those impairments and profits were down by 64%. Are you looking at a better 2012? Um, well, with Ghana Commercial Bank, that's um, the stock that's actually driving the market up today. It's up by 2% and it's leading in terms of it's the most liquid equity in terms of volume and value traded today. Um, there's a lot of activity in Ghana Commercial Bank because of certain positive comments that um, the managing director, Simon Donu, said um, somewhere last week. Um, he indicated that though profits have been down for um, very drastically in 2011, um, the first quarter result shows um, a positive turnaround in the bank's businesses. Um, he, he predicted a, a full-year profit that is going to increase by about fourfold. So this um, general optimistic opinion from the managing directors kind of um, spread optimism in the stock. And we have seen a lot of investors lining up to take up um, down a commercial bank. Um, that's not the only stock that's receiving a lot of attention in the past few days. Um, we have stocks like Car Bank, which um, just completed its um, capital raising exercise and currently is capitalized to the tune of 100 million Ghana fees, making it one of the more highly capitalized stocks on the, on the market. So um, with that in effect, we have a lot of activity in these stocks. Um, we have SGSSB that's also receiving considerable attention as well. So all in all, the financial stocks are, are doing quite well. Yep, and we're seeing that in the financial index just for today, up by a third of a percent. We saw there uh, that was Derek Mensah from SIC Security.